Hi, Chicken Bone John here. Welcome to the next part of our Learn to Make a Seagull Box Guitar. This time we're going to be gluing a fretboard onto the neck. You'll have already got this done, glued up, headstock shaped, fitted to the box, and we're now going to glue on one of our pre-slotted fretboards. Let's get on with it. Okay, if you've been following our series on how to build a cigar box guitar, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. We've got the neck all set into the body with our blocks and corner blocks so we're ready to get to the next stage. And the next stage is fitting the fretboard. Here we have one of our Chicken Bone John pre-slotted fretboards. It's got a slot here to take a 5mm machine screw to act as your nut and the top of this splayed off. As you can see, we've got 24 frets, which is longer than we need. So we can simply chop that off and also, if you'll notice, that the neck and the fretboard aren't quite the same width. We make these fretboards a little bit wider than the neck because it's very difficult to get this if they were the same size to glue up exactly accurate so we make the fretboard slightly oversized right here we go what we're going to do is position our neck so that this splay is round about where this curve is I'm going to move it back a little bit because we can just file and sand that into position so we're going to look here uh, where this comes to the body. Now my neck ends at this point so I'm going to I'm just going to let the fretboard run over a wee bit. So we, here's where the neck finishes we're just going to cut this just as the fretboard runs past it. You can cut it d dead on flush if you want I just think this looks a little bit nicer. So, we're just going to simply cut that off. Very so all we're going to do, we've marked where we want it. We're going to take a saw, in this case I'm using uh, a Japanese pull saw, but your ordinary fret saw will do the job. Using our old friend the bench hook, we're just going to cut on there. And there we go. So that is now to length. We can just sand that off to make it neat. But you can see that's where it's going to be positioned. So we've just got this little overhang here, uh, which, as I say, I think that makes it look a little bit better. We need to glue this on now. Let's put a packer under there to stop that wobbling about. I'm going to glue it on using tight bonds, my favourite wood glue. You don't need to use anything uh, any fancier than that. The ordinary stuff like uh, Resin W from Evo Stick will work. You don't need the outdoor grade or, or whatever. Before we put the glue in, there's just going to be one little trick because if we put the glue on, this tends to act as a lubricant and this can squirm about. We want that to stay in place. So to do that, or to help us do that, we are simply going to drive in a couple of pins. Ordinary, these are ordinary steel panel pins. I'll sometimes use a, uh, a, a tack gun. And then we just cut them off. So they're sticking up a wee bit. What that is going to do is when we clamp that up it's going to grip that board, that fretboard and stop it floating around. So as I say you can use a staple gun and cut brads or staples off. Some people recommend putting a bit of salt or even sand uh, onto this. I don't like the idea of introducing like a sort of foreign material but apparently put sprinkling salt in is an old carpenter's trick so they tell me. So I'm going to put some glue on this. I'll put it on the board, doesn't matter which way but because we've got these tacks in it might make it a little trickier. So here we go. I'm going to run a bead of that, fairly generous bead, 
and then you want to spread it and you can just say use the off cut from that but I use or a brush but I used to I like to use one of these it's just a wallpaper seam roller what we want to do is to get a nice even spread of glue on there it wants to be generous but not so much that it's going to gloop out all over so we just simply put that on there just be careful that that's about the right place to minimize the amount of filing and so forth you're going to do and I'm just going to feel with my fingers to get an even sort of overlap on both sides and then just press down and I can feel I could feel those pins going in. Now that feels about right. We need to clamp it up now. Sometimes I will clamp two necks together. Here's one that's glued up, but like that. So they sort of counteract one another, even one another out and end up straight. We're aiming to get this straight. What I would recommend is that if you have a bench that you know is straight you can clamp it to that or a piece of wood that you know is straight or a, a, an off cut of aluminium or something that you know is straight so what I'm going to do is flip that over what I also sometimes do, will do is just put some packing tape on here to stop any squeeze out getting into it but I think I'm going to be okay here and for that I'm just going to use some steel uh, cast iron clamps and I'm going to put some packers in here. I'm use that off cut which is going to cushion the clamps because here's what we're going to do. Clamp them down. I'm just going to get these in position them on nice and evenly Let's back that off Put the thicker part make sure they're on the center of the neck so the pressure is going on evenly yeah these are what I like to use these cast iron clamps Now they're all in position, we can just go round, tighten them up just a little bit at a time so it's the pressure's going on equally. It's fine, so I've got just about the right amount. If you've not got any glue squeeze out at all, um, you might be starving the glue uh, joint of glue a little bit that's all there is to it leave it overnight and then in the next sequence we will come back and show you how to trim this up that was pretty simple wasn't it so the next bit we're going to be trimming this fretboard down so it's going to look nice and clean and then we're going to go through the other sequences of putting some markers in the fretboard and most importantly getting the frets into it. See you next time.